Hello, and welcome to another pop video. Uh, this week, I'm going to be going through Naya Gates. So I just took this to a top eight in the last pulper challenge, which was pretty sweet. So I'm pretty much fresh off that, and I'm like, well, let's record a video of it because it worked well for me. It's also been working well for me, like before I played in the challenge. I've gotten two three twos and a four one, so I haven't had a losing record yet. It seems to be very, just generically good. I wouldn't say it's like got a great matchup against anything in particular, but just seems to be able to eke its wins out, which is pretty good. So the whole basis of the deck is uh, built around the fact that Basilisk Gate is the best card in the deck, right? So when any of your gate decks, if you don't get a Basilisk Gate, you just lose. So how do you circumvent this? Well, how about we add more Basilisk Gate? Well, it doesn't exist. Well, it sort of does, because you've got Gate Creeper Vine. So Gate Creeper Vine lets you search up Basilisk Gate. So it gives you Basilisk Gate's number, what, five to eight, if you want to go up to eight. I'm running three, because it doesn't attack. So it's not that fantastic, but it's it's been good enough. I probably should run four, to be perfectly honest, but I'm sticking with three for now. And then the rest of the mana base is just... Like, four of each of the Nair Gates, a couple of Heap Gates, so you have some untapped lands, and some of uh, some basics just for uh, cleansing Wildfire if they blow up your gates, then you have something to search for. Uh, so we'll go to the Creature Suite. We have uh, Sacred Cat. Best thing with Basilisk Gate, just helps you win races. It's two creatures in one. Can't argue with it. Uh, Thrabin Inspector, so this is the creature that Alvatar doesn't run in his version. He runs Inspiring Overseer instead, which is the 3-drop 2-1 flyer that draws a card. So I like Thrabin Inspector because uh, A, it costs 2 less, uh, B, it doesn't die to Suffocating Fumes and Smash to Dust, which seem to be everywhere, and C, it allows you to curve your core Sky Fisher easier. So it just gives you more early game things for you able to cast a Call cool, cool Sky Fisher early. So that's also what Abundant Growth's for. It does help fix a little, because like you can put it on the Heap Gates and the Basilisk Gates to be able to actually make them produce colored mana. But it's mainly just there for Sky Fisher to return. So then you have something that lets you turn your Core Sky Fisher into a cantrip. Uh, it's great. I love Core Sky Fisher. I love Thrabin Inspector. I'll play any deck with these two. Uh, so that's why there's one Omen of the Dead, because it works with the Skyfishers. It just gives you an infinite supply of attackers, and you only ever need one when you've got a Basilisk Gate, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, Don't bring a Cleric. Uh, Alvatar runs four. I'm not too much of a fan. It does a lot of things, but they're all moderately mediocre, except for the Destroy Enchantment part, but that's not relevant in every matchup. So... It itself is probably relevant in every matchup, but none of the effects on it feel like it's worth a card. So I feel like it just doesn't... It's, it doesn't give enough card advantage for what it is in most of the matchups. So, like, against red, it gains you two life and stalls a bit. Against Tron, it removes a card from the graveyard, like a fog or something. So, it's fine. I really like two of them. Especially for dealing with munitions, because makeshift munitions just keeps and it just stops sacred cat in its tracks and most of the other cards. So having a main deck answer to make shift munitions is great. Uh, so really, gatekeeper. Who ever thought that a dragon maze common would actually be useful? So uh, it gains you seven life. So it's a four mana two four that gains you seven. It's mainly there for red decks. It's just it's also a creature that helps make you to the late game. I'm thinking of cutting this down to two, because you don't, it's only mainly against red. I usually side them out when you're not against red, but you see a lot of them in leagues, so that's why I'm playing three. Uh, and I'm thinking of putting in a second Guardian, because Guardian's been great. Oh, Avatar also doesn't run it, but it helps just punch through all sorts of decks with Basilisk Gate. There's a lot of... Because, yeah, you can target this, but then it can't be blocked by mon monocolored creatures, so... Yeah, great card. Just have to worry about Edicts. Femorate. Femorate looks a bit weird because there's, like, no Moldrifter, nothing really of value. But 
it's mainly here as a card advantage engine. There's there's not a lot of these colors that helps you just like draw cards naturally. So uh, this is it's a protection spell foremost. So if they're going to kill a Skyfisher or a Thraben Inspector, you can ephemerate it to keep it alive. Or, <laughs> but it also has other effects, like it can gain you 14 life off a Cerulean Gatekeeper. It can like just save a Sacred Cat from getting killed in response to a Basilisk Gate activation. Sure, it doesn't make it indestructible, but at least it's around for another turn. It's also pretty good with Gate Creeper Vine, because you just ephemerate onto a Gate Creeper Vine. So there's a lot of times where you just go, oh yeah, I'll save this creature, which is sometimes a Thraben Inspector. So you ephemerate, protect the Thraben Inspector, and then on your next turn, when it rebounds, you just flicker a Gate Creeper Vine to help hit your land drops. So then you've saved one creature and drawn two cards, technically, because you've got a clue as well. So it's pretty good. I've been, think I've been thinking of cutting it, but it, it seems to prove itself every time I play, so I'm keeping it for now. Uh, Lightning Bolt needs some early interaction. It's the best in the format, so if you're not running artifact lands. So, sweet four of. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, four, Journey to Nowhere, best white removal spell. Dawnbringer Cleric makes it a bit worse, so sometimes I side I side out all of them if I see Dawnbringer Cleric, but, I mean, it's just white's best removal spell. Smash to Dust, uh, very versatile, sort of like Dawnbringer Cleric. Not great at anything in particular except the destroying artifact bit but it comes in handy so it kills Kadolta tokens it kills mirror forces like its worst matchup is blue black terror where it does pretty much nothing but it seems to have a use in most matchups so i've been pretty happy with it i don't really have much else to say uh and then it's sort of like a split with destroy evil so you can probably go to like one of these Two of these, because Destroy Evil is better in the Terror matchup, and like Hexproof and whatnot. You'd be surprised how many things Destroy Evil hits. So it hits like Monomic Wall and Tron. It hits uh, the Two Drop Wall in uh, Defenders. It hits Mirror Enforcer. So it hits. Um, one, it hits Swift Spear when it's when they've played two spells. Like you'd be surprised. Uh, and then to the sideboard. So four Pyro because Tron and Fairies are annoying. So whenever you're running Rage, you run four Pyro because no one likes blue cards. Uh, Crimson Acolyte. So this is the only thing I'm running to for the red decks because I've got a lot main deck already, like with the Gatekeepers and the Sacred Cats already. So all you need to do is so this just stone walls them. And then it helps protect your Sacred Cat. And as soon as you can get a Sacred Cat with a Basilisk Gate, you've pretty much won. Uh, Common will destroy evils, mainly for blue black terror. Also helps against Hexproof. It's just a nice, flexible slot. Four Dust to Dust. Affinity's a menace. Something needs to be done about it. May as well keep playing white decks to use this card. Uh, and two Relic, because I don't like Tron. And there's not really much else to help me against Tron other than Pyroblast, so... Oh, and Cycle Storm. Got to try to do things sometimes. So yeah. Uh, so this is the deck. We'll see how we do. Uh, I'm expecting a 3-2. Possibly a 4-1. Can never get a 5-0. There's just too many variables. So we'll see how we do. Alright, round 1 versus Top Grinder. Trophy Leader. Probably on Affinity as they usually are. So it should be alright with the Fort Dust to Dust in the board. But I can't keep this. <laughs> no, no coloured sources. Uh, this is fine. I'll put back an Ephemerate. So I've got Interaction, Gates, Cat. Let's see what they're on. It hurts to put Glyph Cliffgate on green, but I don't think I'm going to have much of an option. Yeah, I'm still going to do it so I can cast it next turn. You want to have white as much as possible. Okay. 
Okay, so we'll keep with the gates at this point in time. Yep, Vesselus gate number one. The next turn, I can put this on white, play a sacred cat. Hmm. That's not good for them. Oh, I could do that. That's even better. What is what is going on? Oh, we're lagging out a little. Uh, play cat. Play this on white. Pass. There, I got the black. There we go. Now there'll be like five mirror forces in my direction. Okay, I think I'm going to swing at the Sacred Cat. If they sack it, then I can kill the mirror Enforcer. Or do I try and shoot this now? Interesting. If I shoot this, then they might try and use the cat, kill the cat. Then I can shoot that either way. But then if they get another land, they can just bring them both back anyway. But he has to sacrifice something else to be able to kill the cat. I think I want to do that. You sack the frog might. To kill the gate creeper vine. There's a lot of interesting decision trees here already. the killer I can just bring it back but then I've used two of my hmm I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna just try and do this oh, okay that worked Gives me a bit of breathing room. I must want to keep Deadly Dispute up. If I flicker that... I think that's fine. If it dies, it dies. Yeah, okay. Do they get a land? They do. Damn, so now they've got... Oh. Rough. Well, I got blown out pretty badly there. Uh, I'm going to play this planes just in case if they have a metallic rebuke. Make this green. And then put it on the Basilisk Gate. And then we'll bring back the cat. Attack for six. It's fine.
Yeah, they can blood fin. Ugh. Really? Well, let's hope they don't have a blast so we can do this. I might be able to just kill them with lightning bolts. So, there's not enough red sources though, because of the way I've tapped everything. Attack for seven. And then if I don't die next turn and they don't have a... I can't put the... Uh, Reckoner's Bargain? Then I can kill them. Take six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'm not dead. I tapped that wrong, <laughs> which I didn't even notice. I could have had two red white sources up. It still wouldn't have mattered because I can't kill them from this point, but I can shoot them once and then I have Basilisk Gate plus Sky Fisher plus another two bolts. So they'd have to like shoot this three times. Sweet. Edict. I think this is fine. Just gotta hope there's no Reckoner's Bargain. And we got there. Whew, okay. That was lucky. Okay, so now we bring in all of these. Uh, smash to dust. And... A destroy evil. To be able to hit the munitions. And a couple of relics. Oh, I've got a lot of exile effects that I don't think relic is needed that badly. It's only with the smash to dust. Which I can leverage to try to like blow up the... Um, Blood Fountain. Jeez, that took a while. Okay, so I'll bring these in. I'll figure out what to take out. So I usually take out one Ephemerate. Uh, the Omen of the Dead, because we don't really need to grind that hard. Uh, the Gatekeepers. I'll keep in one. Just to get that little bit of life gain. Sacred Cat's not that great, because they've got munitions. Actually, and Bolt doesn't kill. Like, the Mirror Enforcer. So I'd rather have Destroy Evil than that. Oh, Abundant Growth's pretty medium. Maybe I'll take out one of those. So I want to keep Journeys. I want to... Uh, yeah, so what am I keeping? Guardian's actually not that great. It can't get through the... It can't get through a lot of things. So maybe Guardian goes out as well. I'll leave the Abundant in. I'm taking out a decent amount of creatures. Yeah, we'll go with that. And 
It's a dust to dust. We'll see if they have the counter spell. Uh, put this on green. Even though I've got red things already. I'm going to play this next turn anyway. I just want to prepare because I'd rather have this one on red white, which is what I'm going to play next. Blood fountain. Untap land? Damn. Um I think Oh, they've got a blood fountain. To bring it back. Which I don't know if they will. I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep up lightning bolt. I'm gonna play a sacred cat because I've got two. And we'll pass. And I'll trade off the Mirror Enforcer with the Sacred Cat and the Lightning Bolt. If they've got a Deadly Dispute, then so be it. But at least then it won't be countering my... Dust to Dust. Alright, now we just dust to dust twice. On get rid of the blue. Guess we'll just get rid of the indestructible lands. I'll sack one of them. Ooh. Sack the wellspring. I guess it yeah, it draws an extra card. Might as well attack. See if they can handle the second dust to dust. Probably not, considering they just missed a land drop. Um, I might keep up. Yeah, let's just do this. Let's get rid of the two lands. And then we'll bolt the frog might and we'll start swinging in yeah <laughs> all right well let's crack a clue throw an inspector that's fine play that Flashback a sacred cat. Decides to shaman then hooray. He's sacrificed two more artifacts. It's taken it. Sweet. Just crack another clue. Journey. If I use it on this, it will sacrifice these two to sweep my board away. I guess that cuts them off getting any more mirror enforcers for a while. Just sack one. Make me... Okay. That's fine. I can pick it up with the Skyfisher later. Alright, I'm going to smash to dust. This. And... Play. I'll just exile Mirror Enforcer. I 
would like a basilisk gate at any point, please. I'm gonna land. Hmm. I'll just double cat again. I'll keep the cleric just in case. I'll start pumping out some treasures. Enforcer. Okay. Land. Yeah, figured. All right, well, now we're all blocked off. And they've got black active, so they can start drawing cards. Hmm. I can start beating in. Which is what they're going to do. Castle Skate. That doesn't really help. I guess I can kill a second Mirror Enforcer. a shaman in the bin. Shaman's gonna clean me out. I think I need to get rid of it. You can get a mirror enforcer back. That's fine. Alright. Another dust to dust or basilisk gate, please. Bang. Dust to dust would be great. That'll do. Now they're going to have removal up. Genku? Sure. And that makes it hard to punch through. Now they have an indestructible blocker. Ooh, that's good. Ripping, ripping like a champion. Sack it. Sure. Oh, sack the chromatic star. Try to up a cat. It'll probably die. That's fine. I will attack with them two. Might keep a cat back. Oh. Yeah, I can attack with it. I might keep one in the graveyard. Because I'm scared of Cart Clan Shaman. Uh, 
That's a that's a lot of mirror forces. And that's not good either. Just gotta rip a bolt off the top. It's close. Oh, and then 2-2, two, two. yeah, okay. Why not just do that on your turn? My turn. Okay, they, they won through two dust to dusts I blew up five of their lands and they still got through. That's what happens when you don't have a Basilisk Gate. Uh, I think that means we want Relic. Instead of an Abundant Growth. We'll try that. Uh, gate, cat, journey. This is fine. It's not as gas as all the other hands, but it'll do. Probably should have played this and done white in case I draw a um, gate creeper vine. Not punished. It's nice. White. Oh, we got to try, right? Turn aside. It got it. Okay. I mean, it would have been pretty close to game over from there, if that resolved. That's fine. Sky Fisher. Um, it sucks to play a Sky Fisher and not get value from it, but I think that's what I want to do. Just so I have another attacker. Forza. With nothing to back it up. Oh, now I draw a thing. Okay. Uh, I'll just put on the Basilisk Gate. Red, and we'll journey the Mirror Enforcer, hit them for three, like if they play Kenku I can bring back the journey and then exile the land. So, do it on the sacred cat? No. Bet we just red. Let's just blow this up. See if they have another envelope. No, okay. And then we will... play the Sky Fisher. That's fine. They're going to do that on my turn anyway. Or well, in my combat step. One. So now I can play Abundant Growth, Ephemerate the Sky Fisher. Whoa. 
That makes things hard. So let's say they have a Gal Blast. I think I'll still, I'll still, yeah, there's, there's a lot of things going on in my head. So it's like I can try and flicker this to get this back, to exile this, and then smash to dust the mirror enforcer that's underneath it. Or I just do that. Do I think that's going to resolve? I think they've got a deadly dispute. Because they can't have rebuke. They might have negate. They might have envelop. But if they had envelop, I think they would have done it on the smash to dust. Or do I just keep up ephemerate on this? They try to kill it. Yeah, and I'll basilisk gate on the sacred cat to gain some life. I think is what I want to do. I know that's not really making the game move to a winning position. But I feel it like gets a Gelf Blast out of their hand if they have it. And say so if they have a Gelf Blast and they've got to use it and tap this, then I can get in for two. But I have a feeling it's just going to be a deadly dispute in which they're going to block with this and sack it so I don't gain any life. Yeah. Which is fine. I think this is fine. Munitions, it's not great, because that means the Sacred Cat no longer exists. I've got a dust to dust, right? Do I, do I think they have rebuke is the question. which I think so. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna press anything too hard. I'll just make him kill the sacred cat. That's fine. Okay, now I can attempt to ephemerate it. And I'll bring back the abundant growth. And then if it resolves, I'll flicker the journey. I'll bring back the journey. And then I'll try and dust to dust. If that doesn't work, then at least I can smash to dust the... I can smash to dust and journey. They just consumed a lot of resources there. White, white, white. These two? Yep. So now, have I played a land? No. So that means I can... Gate Creeper Vine. Basilisk Gate. And then Smash to Dust. 
the enforcer. The problem is I'm running low on creatures. In time. Go back. Okay. I forgot there was a card that sometimes existed. Interesting. What would you have that you would want to tap the Silver Bluff Bridge? If it's a Gal Blast, you just do it on my turn. I mean, it's going to be the Silver Bluff Bridge. We'll see what they get rid of. Ooh, okay. Bear, bear. And there's that. So they're down to two. So they're relying on this Gurmag by the looks of it. This poor gate creeper can't attack. <sighs> okay, maybe I should have done that first. Alright, I'm just play in the open. Hope to get a creature. Need four turns to get a creature. That is not a creature. Another turn. There's also not a creature. <laughs> Getting all this artifact hate. And there's also not a creature. And these two can't kill the Gomeg Angler. I think I blocked now. Kills the Gomeg. So that was a good option, because now I'm not dead to munitions in the next couple of turns. There's not a creature. They're not drawing any lands. That's a creature. So now they're just literally dead unless they draw an untapped artifact land. Hooray, we got there. Oh, double dust, triple dusted us, got them that time. They just, they didn't draw that many lands. So how many did they exile? One, two, three, four, five, six. So they lost six lands. I exiled two of them. The rest they just sacrificed to keep my stuff at bay. All right. On to the next one. Alright, yes, we'd like to go first. This is round two. We're inversing Magnus 93. Uh, this is fine. It's got a lot of interaction. Uh, the only problem is that we've got a green gate with red and white cards in hand. So we're doing white with this, and then the heap gate will have to do it, pull a bit of duty to use the lightning bolts. So the lightning bolts, the bolts are going to cost us two mana each, but that's fine. If I'm like burn, then I'm still willing to pay two mana to kill a Swiss beer.
Affinity again. Alright, so I'm an inspector. And then, hey, we got a red source. Good times. Or is it going to be madness? Oh, Madu. Okay. Madu wildfire. So I lost to this in the challenge. Twice. So we'll see how well I do against this person. The All the games were very tight, though, so... I might just punch... They don't have much life gain, so I'm just going to punch them while I can. Because I've got this triple bolt in hand, so... If I can punch him down quickly, I might be able to just bolt him out. Like, if they just play the Wellspring again, which they do, then I can bolt this, attack in for five. Down to 11. All I need to do is get one more hit of five in and... Oh, yeah, okay. This is the problem with Wildfire. <laughs> is that you can't win without Basilisk Gate. And they know this. Which is very annoying. Oh, and they pretty much negated a bolt in our hand too. That's rough. That's good though. I can't deal with that. Uh, I'll pick. I'll pick red. I've got three white sources already. Being able to double bolt without using the heap gate seems good. So they only run like two navigators compass, maybe three, but they usually wouldn't pick it back up. They're going to be picking back up this or this. So I accept they run edicts. So maybe I shouldn't have played the Guardian out so uh, nonchalantly. Synthesizer. And there's the Edict. At least one of them gone. I run three, I think. Dawnbringer. I think I might just crack another clue. Keep the Dawnbringers back for Journey to Nowheres if they play them. The goal's just to keep plucking them down with Guardian until I get them to six at this point in time. So all I need is one Basilisk Gate, which will do a decent push for the rest of the damage. Didn't want to return the Synthesizer. Oh, okay. Fair. All right, I'm just going to crack the clue now before I forget. There we go. There's one Basilisk Gate. It should give me the punch I need, because that all... Hit for seven? Yes. And then even if they remove it next turn, the attack from this plus the two bolts should be enough. They could just Galv Blast me out of nowhere too, though. Which could present an issue. Green... Yep, let's get a Basilisk Gate. Let's play it. And we'll keep up a Bolt. Sorry. So now need to either not flicker the Navigator's Compass, uh, not blow up the Basilisk Gate, so if they blow if they blow up the basilisk gate, then they're not allowed to flicker this. So 
set the red source down. So I can't just get Galv blasted out of nowhere. Another red source down. Edict. Unless you have... Which you won't, because you don't have enough red sources. <laughs> like, three lightning bolts to kill off all my creatures. It's going to cast it anyway. That's fine. Goodbye, Gate Creeper Vine. Interesting decisions. I'm gonna bolt them just because I got the mana open. <laughs> that was that was dead to the guardian anyway. So, so this is this is why I want another guardian. I think I think I want to swap like get a second guardian instead of the third Cerulee. I feel that's better. Okay, so destroy evil is bad. So let's go over here for them. So two Cerulee, because the life gain does help, and we just need creatures because they've got a lot of removal. Uh, journeys, I usually... Oh, did they run Dawnbringer Cleric? I can't remember. If they run Dawnbringer Cleric, then I usually just cut Journey altogether because it's fairly useless. Which I might do... Because journeying a core sky fisher or a glint hawk just seems bad if they can kill it. <laughs> they can get rid of it. So I think I cut all the journeys. So then I can bring in the Crimson Acolytes, because most of their spot removal is red. So that gives protection from that. So then you can protect your like gate creeper vines or when you try to ephemerate something, they can't actually just bolt it in response. Oh, they run munitions sometimes. So maybe I do need to keep the destroyable. I've got two Dawnbringer clerics. They should only run one munition, so it shouldn't matter. I think they run like an omen. Oh, and they run Chainer's Edict. But Chainer's Edict I don't care too much about. I think I like Dust to Dust because it destroys their lands and you can usually try to pluck off a couple of um, synths. I think I like this. So I could die to just like birds in the air because I'm running it and taking a journey, but I feel the blowout of getting your journey blown up by a Dawnbringer cleric is just too much. Uh, dust to dust, two lands, one will have to be green to gate creeper vine. This is fine. I'll do the first one on white so I can play the sacred cat next turn. Because no matter what, even if I draw an untapped land, I'm going to play this and put it on green. Okay, maybe I'm going to play that instead. Put it on green. All right, white, sacred cat, this on green. Ooh, play another artifact land, I dare you. Gate creeper vine. Get a basilisk gate. 90% 90, 90 of the time, that's what you'll be grabbing. Not sure what to play next turn. We'll see what they do. I think I maybe just plan a Cerulee. Synth. Ooh. 
That's very tempting. I've got to do it, right? I've got to get rid of both the lands. Green on this one. Because that just sets them back so far. And let's say like they get a sky fisher, they'll return this, they reveal a land, play it. But then they're back to two, I'm at four. Double land destruction is pretty harsh. I might attack with the cat first. I feel like if they're going to lose a the land, they're probably going to want to retaliate by killing my cat with a sacred, with a galv blast. I didn't think this was a hard decision. <laughs> Resolves. Let's just get rid of him. Oh, after after all that, I said I wanted to attack with the cat first, and I didn't do it. Yep, figured should have attacked first. They just they they got me with the stalling of time. I waited like a minute. Oh, Galv Blast. Don't kill my Gate Creeper Vine. That's all I've got. No. Uh, do I Cat? Cat plus Acolyte? That seems good. And then we'll see if they... I feel like they're going to wildfire my Basilisk Gate at some point. Are they behind the lands? Maybe they want to do it to their own? No. Yeah, it's fair. Understandable. Maybe I shouldn't have put the, <laughs> the Abundant Growth on it. Now I can't return it if I get a Sky Fisher. Whoops. Mistake. I swear I've played this deck before. Hey, at least that's one wildfire that's not going to be blowing up Azalus Gate, so... That's a plus. I'm going to kill it. Just so I can get some damage in. I know it's only two damage, but... It's better than nothing. Get in. Nothing else, I'm making them use time. Did I even get a hit off with the Basilisk Gate? I don't think I did. Ooh, Chainer's Edict. I think I just let the cat die. It's gonna die to a stiff breeze anyway. Return the synthesizer? Interesting. That doesn't kill anything. It's gonna shoot me. 
That's fine. Do I shoot? I think I shoot the Sky Fisher. And then I'm going to exile it with the Cleric. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. All right, well, we're punching in. Uh, we're punching in with both. Take eight. Oh, oh, I've got the clerics. That's fine. I'll do it on the acolyte. Yep. I'm gonna give this one protection from red. <laughs> oh, I don't gal blast it. Sure. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Not really, but... Ooh. Um, let's... Can I do... Yeah, okay, I can do Cleric and Dust to Dust, which is what I'm going to do. So we'll Dust to Dust this and this. So it gets them further away from the Edicts, and it gets rid of the Synthesizer, so they can't... bounce anything with the Hawks or whatever. And then we destroy this, get back our Acolyte. Now they can't kill my Dawnbringer Cleric. With burn spells. But lo and behold, they had another Synthesizer all along. Oh, and a Skyfisher. You're not going to synthesize in Skyfisher, that just makes you exile two cards. I reckon return your Glinthawk. You got to play the Skyfisher, you got to have it in play or in your graveyard. Yep. What are you going to return? Or just the land, maybe? Put you back a fair way. Okay. You've already lost three. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I didn't even realize they told me I was lucky. That's nice. Uh, let's just put it on... Put on the Dawnbringer Cleric. Get in there. I'm just going to hope the Abyss keeps them, keeps it coming. Just keep eating creatures. Well, they've got a land in hand. So they've got three cards. Plus a land. They still don't have a second black source to be able to edict. That's fine. That was always going to happen. Uh, what can I do about it? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Yep, we get another planes. <laughs> Femorates. Femorates. Woo! And just gain some more life, waste some more time. Yeah. 
I might have to start just ephemerating the Dormringer clerics so I can exile the Chainer's Edicts. So I might do that. <laughs> or I could just gain 14 life, which is pretty funny. Oh, there's an Edict again. Um, what do I get rid of? Uh, I think I want to ephemerate the cleric. And then we'll exile this one. Do I lose the Acolyte? I think i got to keep it, right? I've got to, I'll get rid of the Gatekeepers. And then I'll exile the second Edict. And there's one left over. All in preparation for when um, the Guardian comes. Just need Guardian to come. I don't think I've seen them cast a Deadly Dispute yet. So what are they doing now? Hey! Look at all them cards. So they've got one cleansing on fire, I've got two gates. Oh, that's annoying. That's fine, I've got the cleric. So I just have to use my ephemerate now. That's annoying though. Goodbye, Basilisk Gate. Alright, so now I may as well, because I got enough value out of it, let's get rid of the munitions. And then when it comes back, I'll exile the edict from the yard so now if I ever get my guardian he will be free to do what he likes This deck just draws too many cards. Oh, that's a little annoying. I didn't know they were in that. Maybe I can bring back in the journeys. I haven't seen a Cleric, anyway. Yeah, I'll just scoot. I can't come back. 
I could make him waste some time, but I wasn't getting anywhere anywhere quickly. So I think the dust to dust were fine. Crimson Acolytes are fine as well. I didn't know they were running Arms of Hadar, which makes them slightly worse. I think we're still fine. Just game relies too much on Guardian. Oh, and Basilisk Gate. It's hard to win with Basilisk Gate when they keep blowing it up. Which I don't know what to do about that. Do I run a relic? I don't think it matters. Yes, we'd like to play first. Dust to dust. Yeah, this is fine. No creatures, but uh, two cantrips. Way to blow up their lands. Seems fine. I'm going to learn to not put the abundant growth on the basilisk gates this time. It's a good sign. It's one artifact land. Green on this one, which allows me to go green on this one. I'm an inspector, that's what we want to see. All right, I would like a second artifact land, please. Oh, that's the worst one. Now there's zero artifact lands in play. Oh, all right, I want to be able to attack once at least. So we do this, we can crack a clue. Nothing. Okay. Okay, so if they've got the bolt, then I can ephemerate to save it. So that's like a two for one, right? I'm happy enough with a two for one. And then if they don't kill it, I draw another card. Sure, I don't get to attack with the Basilisk gate for a turn, but. I feel like they're going to wildfire, then play a... Or maybe they'll um, synth first. Wouldn't mind a synth. Yeah, there's a wellspring. What we expected. A glimpse to return it. Tap land? Tap land. Tap land. Okay. Well, we're definitely dust to dusting all that. All right. Bang, bang. And then I could bolt that. Maybe that's what I... Yeah, let's do that. I probably should have... Oop, and I played the... <laughs> did, did that completely wrong. Should have played the Basilisk Gate. Alright, so if I don't kill the Thriving Inspector, I can hit for, like... What? Five and... Ten? It's fine. OK, 
can't play a creature. So let's draw a card. And we'll just punch with the Thraven. And then if they kill it, then I can just place a really crack a clue. Oh, they can chump block. Plenty of options. We just got to see what they've got. Stuck on having no black sources is their main issue. Which means they just can't deadly dispute. Which is good when they're chump blocking. Just doing another Wellspring plus Glinthawk by the looks of it. Fine. You gonna land? He did. No, it's a black one too. Attack in. All right. So. Ooh. I think I still want to attack him with this. If they've got removal, uh, I wouldn't mind trying to keep it up for a removal spell. But if they've got a like two or an edict then I can't really do anything. So I think I still want to attempt to punch for a lot. Just that. They should chump. If they don't, it doesn't matter. But, yep, it's fine. Gets rid of a blocker. And then green, blah, blah, blah. Gatekeepers. And then hopefully they just can't kill both at once. No, like, Bolt plus Edict, please. Okay, so now I can do two and two, and then I still have Ephemerate up, so I can play a tapped gate. So these two onto this one. And then these two on to this one. 9-11. Jump block. Destroyable? I'll just, yep, sack it to the earliest boot, that's fine. Three Glindhawks down. Down to six. Two bolts will kill them. If I could ever find them. Edict's going to be my worst nightmare at this point. I'm fine with blockers. They can draw and take their time. Hmm, okay. Nothing. Alright, let's try a Thraben. And we'll try Ceruli. I do have enough, so I guess I still try and save it. Can another seven? Now they got a chump block.
a deadly dispute again. Sure. Okay. Mildly concerning. Do I play the Dawnbringer Cleric? For no value. They're gonna have a removal spell. I've gotta risk it, right? They're just dead if they can't kill both my creatures. Go Fisher. Ephemerate. I'm fine with just flickering the Thravid Inspector. If it was going to die, it was going to die anyway, so. Might as well try and draw a card. That's fine, but I'll see what I can draw. <laughs> well, let's do it. They didn't like that. That was pretty funny, though. Come on, you got to admit. Okay, well, I can't flicker it another time. Goodbye, ephemerates. That's all the ephemerates gone. Uh, I think that wins. I guess I was a bit lucky. We got there. Woo! Had to get a bit lucky to get there, but... Hey. I finally got a win against this deck. Woo! Good times. Alright. On to the next one. Alright. Uh, round three. This is Chris Bedfield. Uh, this is a two lander, but it has a gate group of vines, so we can keep this. And we can produce a green. <laughs> Is this affinity again? Green. Blood Fountain. Right, let's play a good group of vine. I tapped wrong. Let's get a Basilisk Gate, the best gate in the deck, and pass. If they try and pump out an Enforcer quickly, I can journey it. Otherwise, I'll just Sky Fisher, or maybe not. If they kill my Goat Cooper Vine, then I... Okay, now I can do it. They have to lose too many things to do it now. Oh, not much, I guess. They lose these two. Still seems a lot for them, so. They don't have a white nut. No. Oh, yeah, okay. This is fine. If they want to kill it, they can kill it. And they do not. Play this, some white. Pass.
All right. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it just to disappear. Surely you'd get rid of the blood token. I guess you're trying to keep artifacts out, maybe. Another dispute? Yeah, okay. I don't think I need to punch just yet. I, th I think I'm happy just to keep slowly chipping in. Uh, and then we white for Thraben. And then we green for Gate Creeper. We be creeping. Basilisk Gate. Best gate in the deck. Uh, and now we can start Basilisk Gating. But they've got six mana and seven cards in hand, so something's got to give. I think I tapped wrong. Yep. It's going to be a Kenku. Yep. It is also fine. Uh, let's play a gate so that I don't get countered by whatever the heck it's called. Talic Rebuke. can never remember the name of it. Protect like itself. It's fine. And then... I assume this is probably going to get Gal Blasted, so... Does... Draven Inspector? I'll block with the Kenku, but... That was going to happen anyway. The Skyfer should be nice. And rebuy the journey. Didn't attack. Interesting. Uh, now that I've got Omen, I guess I can do it on the Skyfisher. So I can Abundant Growth, Omen of the Dead. That requires... And then I can't Sky Fisher again anyway. So I guess I just play this. Just so I can get more damage if it actually doesn't die, which it probably will. And there it goes. Uh, green. Whoop. Here. Pass. What are they? No, no, nothing. Okay. Thought they might crack the blood fountain. I got a shaman and artifice. Oh, that's probably a good option now. Gets rid of my two creatures in play. I guess I may as well bolt. Exile. Oh, munitions still scares me. Let's just play. Uh, 
Plain abundant growth. Another Dawnbringer. Okay, play another Basil's Gate. Play the Ceruli. And then I guess I Cleric Mirror Enforcer? Did I get rid of the Shaman? I think the Shaman's more annoying. And clean too many of my creatures away. And I've got bucket loads of basil skates, so the min force is not too bad. Zach. Not gonna Kenku. Yep. Yep. Then Kenku. Okay. Okay. Alright, so now we can Skyfisher. Return the journey. Oh no, they get the card back. That's a shame. Cast the journey. Goodbye, indestructible foe. Sure. And could attack in, but they'll just chump with the Kenku. Is that fine? Or I'd rather omen and crack a clue. Don't want to exile the mirror enforcer in their graveyard. I want, to, I want to keep it for munitions. Munitions is the thing that's scaring me. So I think I just pass. I'll omen and crack the clue next turn. And into theirs. They just draw so many cards. I haven't been cracking the blood token, so they must have gas. It's fine. I can take it. They're going to have a rebuke, is the question. Maybe I do just keep the omen of the dead. Yeah, I'll keep it. Uh, so let's do it on the flyer that'll probably die. Okay. Gonna try to find an answer. Did not find an answer. Hmm. Guess I just whack him for a lot then. I can go to three. Play a cat. Why not? And they've used three rebukes, I think. Uh, Reckoner's Bargains? Yeah. So they've only got possibly one left. Usually they only run three. There we go. 
Another indestructible lad. Alright, so now we can black. Get a sky fisher, so they need two flying blockers. We will suit up the cat. Oh, okay. Had enough. Couldn't handle the two flyers. Alright, so let's bring in the dust to dust. And the smash to dust. And to destroy evil. And take out Ceruli. Ephemerate. Uh, I can't remember what I took out last time now. <laughs> you too, Cerulee? A oh, Guardian's average, yep. Cats aren't that great because of munitions. I need the journeys for the Kenku. I think I, I think I want one Cerulee just to gain some life and keep the sacred cats. Omen of the Dead did seem to help that game. Oh, lightning bolts. Lightning bolts don't really do much. So I can take out a couple of them. Yep, I like that. Just bring in a pile of removal. It's still sort of tempting to bring in... Actually, I'll bring in one relic instead of a abundant growth. Just to try to cut off those blood fountains. Uh, this is good. We have a gate group of iron. And two lands. And they've mulliganed to six. And we have a dust to dust. This is all going great. So, would they have the envelop? So, I need to get Cooper Vine. And I won't be able to dust to dust next turn, but that's fine. I think I still want the Basilisk Gate. I've got the Abundant Growth, so I can just put that on the gate. Near Enforcer. So, we go green, Abundant Growth. I like how they tapped out. They were assuming I didn't have a untapped white source, or they didn't know a dust to dust was coming. So, white, Draven, oh, make a sacred cat. I've got two, so one can die. I'll take it. Eat it. Deadly Dispute. And... What cast? Okay. Do I get rid of the Mirror Enforcer, or do I just get rid of two lands? I think I just get rid of two lands. I'm going to keep the Sacred Cat back to block and I'll try and bolt. Hmm. 
<laughs> the only problem to do it with heat gap is sometimes you hit the wrong button. Okay, so let's get rid of the two indestructible lands. Sack one of them. Daily dispute, so that's fine. And then I will pass. Had a land. And a red one. I hadn't had a red one yet. No attacks. They're learning. So maybe I attack now? Ooh, oh, they've got counter spell up. I think I still want to try and Sky Fisher and get Group of Vine. I just want to hit lands. And do I get a, another Basilisk Gate, or do I get a, another White Source? I think I get another White Source now. I've got an Ephemerate, so I can flicker that if I need to. Usually one Basilisk Gate's enough for Affinity. Red, green. Pick red. And let's pass. Dust of Dust sent him, sent him back a couple of turns, so it should be fine for a bit. And they're sacking... They just got rid of a treasure, so it's like they've gone down another land. Another mana source. All springs fine. Deadly Dispute. Sure. Skyfisher is fine. It lives in the air. It's pretty handy. Uh, I think I just want to... I've only got... Oh. Do I... Attempt to journey the Mirror Enforcer, which makes them want to sack that and that. And therefore, on the second one, I can flicker the Gate Creeper Vine and get a second Basilisk Gate. That's very next level thinking. I'll keep the Basilisk Gate up. So then I have. Yeah, because I'll use it too. Cast the puzzle again anyway. So let's journey. Attempt to get rid of the mirror enforcer. Assume it and that's going to get sacrificed. Yep. Yep. First one. Second one. Ephemerate gate creeper vine. Yes. Get. Basilisk Gate. Damage. Journey has nothing. Whack him for eight. It gets Gale Blasted, it gets Gale Blasted, but I felt like that was a pretty good turn of events. And I've got a ephemerate coming, so I hit my second. I hit my next land drop as well. That is fine because I have a sky fisher to bring back the journey. We're gonna get third basilisk gate. We just gating them up.
So tap, tap, Sky Fisher. Bring back Journey. Yep, they've had enough. Sweet. Dust to Dust gets there again. At least I didn't have to... <laughs> At least the one Dust to Dust got there in, like, the last one. Alright, let's see if we can play something that doesn't have artifact lands in it. Not that I'm complaining. Alright. Round two. Round four? <laughs> Round four versus Bovazivo. This is... Fine? It's a little clunky. Need something to return with the Sky Fisher, but... Anything I draw should help, except against Terra. <laughs> I'll do green. Oh, at least I can exile something. Dog breeze. Taking the time. Uh, two top. So they're drawing one. They're going to put one on the bottom. Or is it going to be two top again? Two top again. Hey, untapped land. Okay, so we will exile one. Just to slow them down a little bit. That doesn't slow them down at all. Preordain back in. Although they missed a land drop. What do I do? I just play Sky Fisher, returning the cleric. If they snuff me out, how far back am I? I can't even bolt it. I think. I can't ephemerate to get rid of some things in the graveyard. I don't think it's worth it yet, though. I think I'll just wait a turn and then try and Sky Fisher the Cleric. And then I have ephemerate up if they try to snuff me out. Well, they hit a land. Well, now I could just throw up Inspector and then Sky Fisher. Counter spell, it's fine. Alright, now a terror angle is coming this turn. Terror. Double terror. Okay, that's not good. means I've got to be aggressive. It would be nice if I had a sacred cat, because at least then I can race.
I don't think there's any point exiling anything. So I'll just gain two life to try to bide some time. I'll take ten. I'll attempt to flicker the Thraven Inspector. Gurmag. Can't deal with three five fives. I really need a uh, I don't even know what to be honest. Journey. Double bolt. Uh, Try this. If it gets countered, then what do I do? All right, cool. Helps delay a couple more turns. I'm gonna block and try to bolt it. Don't have a spell pierce. Ooh, deep analysis. I really need to get a sacred cat. Sky Fisher doesn't really help me. All right, draw a card. Red. Oh, I can't. Damn it. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I need to pay an extra two. It's like I'm chumping with a Dawnbringer cleric. But then I have a removal spell, then I can just kill him in the air, possibly. If I draw a Basilisk Gate. It's not a Basilisk Gate. Whoops. Click the wrong button. That does not bode well. Uh... Might help. Sky Fisher. And then we just play it again. Okay. If they have a removal spell, I'm dead anyway. Correct? So I'm better off attacking in the air for two. And then if they don't get a removal spell, I can kill them in the air with the Core Sky Fisher. Yep. 
Yep, yeah, okay. There wasn't anything I could do. I hit triple terror. That's not good. So we're bringing in the pyros. And the relics. And the destroy evils. Just all the removal spells. So we take out Smash to Dust because it does nothing. Take out Cerulees because they don't really do anything either. Guardian's good. Dawnbringer Cleric's okay. Lightning Bolt doesn't do anything. So we'll take out all but one. So I'll take out the other one and I'll bring back in a Cerulee. Okay, just bucket loads of removal. I think that's good. They had the removal spell anyway. I'm wondering if I should have like tried to pressure their life total more than what I was doing. But they did hit a couple of terrors pretty quickly. And the terrors are harder to deal with because you can't keep. I can't keep. I kept forgetting that I couldn't keep just bolt up and block it with a two powered creature to keep three mana up, which is just too much to keep up. Yes, I would like to play first. Can't keep that. Five lands. Oh, that's just as bad, really. Guess it's fine. Doesn't really do much. I'd like a removal spell. I'd like anything, really. <laughs> Driving Inspector would be great. I'm going to ephemerate. It to oblivion. Oh, I should have done red. I've got a green one here. Gatekeepers. All right, let's just start trying to chip in some damage. This one I can do red. Nothing. That's pretty cool. It dies, it dies. It's not dead just yet. Sure. Got rid of the land, eh? Deck five. Hope there's nothing big coming. There probably is. Just hope there's not a lot of them. One is two, okay. Land. Do I play cat? I'll play I'll play cat. And just basil this gate up the cleric. 
I'm willing to trade it for a tear if he wants to double block. Sure. And then I'm probably going to get like edict and blown out. This isn't looking good. <laughs> so I did all that removal and I haven't seen any. I did I did have some suspect hands though that I kept. There's a Gurmag. It is too. Alright, well I'm pretty sure I've lost this one. I'm gonna have counter spell up too. Drawing a gate would be okay. It is not a gate. Hmm. <laughs> An abundant growth. Can just try and punch with the sacred cat, play another one. Then I die to suffocating fumes. I don't. I, I can't really do anything. I might as well try to punch in five. Yep. Yep. That gets me. That was rough. Oh, well, can't win them all. I. Those are some suspect hands, and it is hard to deal with like double terror on turn four. I can try and chump for a while, but. Not with the hand I had. I started missing land drops, so... It, yeah, well. Can't, can't... Yeah, rough. Ooh. Next one. Alright. Up to round five. Let's see if we can get a nice crispy 4-1. We're up against Alho W. And we have a reasonable looking hand. So we'll keep this. Then mulligan to six. It's always a good sign on the play. So two removal spells. A couple of creatures. Like, nothing great. It's like one basilisk gate away of being a fantastic hand. Hexproof. This makes this hand bad. Or oh, it could be the mirror, but... Or rainbow familiars. Should be hexproof. Because these cards do nothing. Still go red with that one, though. Edge Walker. Smash the dust? No, okay. We'll do Sacred Cat. And we'll hope to draw a gate or something. Pretty much all I can do here is hope to draw the uh, Dawnbringer Clerics and kill the three drop auras. From a decent looking seven, it doesn't look like a good five card hand because these two cards are pretty much completely useless in this matchup. Well, at least I can kill a warrior token. Planes. Uh, Ethereal armor. Nothing. Okay. Yep. Okay. I guess we just start playing things. I'll keep the bolt so I can at least point that at their face. So I might as well use this journey while I can. 
even though maybe the correct play is to just crack the clue straight away to try to find Dawnbringer Cleric as quickly as possible. Expecting a good three drop aura here. That is not one. But it will get a good three drop aura. Or just an ethereal armor, because that lets them punch a bit quicker. So let's abundant growth. Gate. Do I bolt? I might as well bolt the pilgrim. And then do I crack the clue or play a sacred cat? Guess I crack the clue. Fine. Well, at least I could do you set of my removal spells. And if they don't have a another aura, I can still live another turn because of the gatekeepers. Well, I've got to play it. Take 10, go to 2. I don't think there's anything that could win. Even if I draw a Basilisk Gate, it'll only gain me like 5 life. Yep. Alright. Okay, so we take out all the Journey to Nowheres. We bring in the Destroy Evils. Smash to dust. Because it can kill all the X1s. And then a relic. It can bring in Pyroblast because it counters Slippery Boggle, but that's usually fairly niche. So I'll just bring this in because it's a cantrip that should hopefully draw us into some enchantment hate. So I've got five pieces of enchantment hate. Which is what I've got to rely on. Just one Dawnbringer Cleric saves a lot, because there's three Ephemerates, so, and the Skyfishes, so if I find one Dawnbringer Cleric in this matchup, then it makes it all worth it. Alright, yes, I would like to go first. Two Destroyables. It's good enough for me. And sometimes if they play like a like one of the one drop ones and they attack in th with a like one big aura on it, you can just go bang and then kill it as well. So I think next turn, depending on what I draw, just the Robin Inspector. If I don't draw a tap land, I'll play the relic off a of heap gate. Goal is to like play gates as much as you can because every one you miss makes the basilisk gate weaker.
Let's throw out an inspector relic. Pass turn. Might as well use the relic. It's not really any use, it's just there as a cantrip. That's a little annoying. Come on, smash the dust. Dang. Alright. Well, we'll see if I can draw it. Abundant growth? Oh. Uh... I might just crack the clue. The fact that they haven't cast anything concerns me. Sure. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, hmm. I think I've got a slow down the damage. That's handy. Another enchantment, hate is also is always good. Basilisk gate is also good. Do I... Okay, so do I crack the clue? Do I think I can die? Is the real question. I think I would rather... Hold up, destroy evil. And then cast gatekeepers. And then I can take a hit and then cleric away the next big aura. Be a big one or just uh, ethereal armor? Yeah, okay. Hmm. So, how much damage is this going to be? Six. Yeah, I think we destroy that. And then shoot. It's a pilgrim. And then I can play gatekeeper. Attack for one. I haven't seen that in a while. We're just going to use that. Put cannons on it? Sure. I guess the relic can get rid of the rancor. Ooh. It's very tempting. Do I think I can die? I don't think I can die from this point. How much damage can I do? So I use this. So three, four, five, six. 
I don't think that puts enough pressure on. I just, I think I need more. Yeah, I think I, I need more lands. So I can gain seven life off this anyway, so. I don't have to use it on the Dawnbringer Cleric. Sure. Oh, well, they don't have anything, so that's nice. So white, this one. I think I have to Dawnbringer on the lifelink. Just so I have a chance of winning the race. And I think I'm just going to crack the clue and not use the gate. So if they get a good aura, I can blow it up with the Cleric and then gain 7 life on my turn. Nothing. Will stem some bleeding. I think I have to ephemerate on this. And then do it again. Just buys me a decent amount of turns. Attack in. Jump block. All right, so I can win if they stop drawing jump blockers. Ancestral Mask? Uh. Yep, yeah, okay. I think I've lost. Yep, I've lost. Uh, that's a rough way to go. I mean, I did, I did draw a lot of enchantment hate. I just couldn't punch through. Just couldn't punch through. All right, so back to the deck. Um, how did we do? We went 3-2. So we beat Affinity twice. We lost to Hexproof. We lost to Blue Black Terror. And we beat Madu synth which was the only one i lost to in the challenge i beat hexproof i didn't play against terror in the challenge so what do we make of it i got completely dumpstered by terror so i don't know what to do about that other than bring in i just drew no removal in any of those games like i drew lightning bolts but they're not really good against terror so i think i just needed to get luckier um 
I, I'm gonna I'm gonna change I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna put a second guardian in now because that would have helped against the terror decks if they didn't have edict which they didn't cast any at any point of those games so it should be all right um what else actually I think I'm gonna get rid of one of these abundant growths and add a gate group of one because there was times where all I needed was another um basilisk gate so being able to draw that instead of a random card would have been much better. So I'll go up to four gate creep. I'll go down to two abundant growth. Because, yeah, it's they're sort of the same thing. It's just being able to cast this sky fisher easier. But turn two gate creep of vine. It's one of the best options this deck has. So let's go up to four. Um, other than that, maybe this third smash to dust isn't that great. Maybe I just bring another thing in. Maybe I'm just too I'm too hung up on terror. I just it maybe it beat me too hard, <laughs> and I'm questioning everything I'm doing. But other than that, deck was pretty sweet. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, we'll see if this becomes an actual deck now that me and someone instead of Alvatar and me are playing it.